Adiosimos. Itachi wa face weeaboo. That is me, fucking Faith and Luminous, back at it again with the white fans. Here with another commentary. What's up, guys? How the fuck is your day going? Mine's just fucking awesome. 10.57 right now. Just got done doing a little schoolwork, listening to some little dicky who I just discovered. I know, I'm fucking late on the train. I've been sleeping on the boy, but his shit is hard. If you guys haven't checked out little dicky, go check him out. This isn't promotional. This isn't me being paid to say this. I'll let you guys know when I'm making some chatter for name dropping. Anyways, guys, fucking your waifu. That is something that apparently makes millions of dollars, dude. And I get it. It's some sort of escapist mentality. You know, real life sucks. Your dog. Your dog? <laughs> Your job is shitty, your boss is shitty, your girlfriend or boyfriend is shitty. You just want a little break from it all. You want to indulge in a fantasy world. And so you spend hundreds of dollars on dakimakuras and wall posters and figurines and shit like that. So that you can feel like you're finally in Equestria, Anon. And I'll let you know, Equestria was located in the bottom of your sink in that bleach bottle. Bottoms up. Anyways, a lot of people find that creepy, the whole fact of having a body pillow or having posters or indulging in the whole waifu culture and stuff like that to begin with. You hear it all the time, Papa Frank, you shits on you guys nonstop. And rightfully so, because a lot of you guys are kind of creepy. But everyone does it, right? Everyone has some sort of escape from reality, some sort of way that they can break through the monotony, like alcohol. Or hardcore ca- Fuck, dude, I can't speak to the- Or hardcore drugs. There's a lot of shit out there that people do to get over the fact that they'll probably never amount to be anything. And that they won't be famous. And that they won't be rich. And they'll probably live dollar to dollar for the rest of their life. And for some of you guys, it's sex with a body pillow. Look, <laughs> I'm not judging. In fact, I 100% understand. While I don't have any of that weeaboo shit, I can understand why someone would, though people like Corporal and Brony who have like 450 plus figurines in this house, maybe it's a tad excessive. Maybe you should get a social life. Maybe you should go outside. If your body pillow is able to stand up on its own because you've been fucking it so much, maybe get a girlfriend? You know, these are just suggestions. I also noticed that a lot of people don't realize this, but a lot of those dating your waifu things are facetious. The whole having a date with your waifu thing is a huge joke. No one's doing it. Well, I won't say no one because this is the internet and there's always some degenerate fuck over there who doesn't get the people are being sarcastic. But there's the large majority of people are doing it as a joke. And it kind of is cringy when people don't realize that and they make entire videos like talking about how cringy a specific culture is, subculture is, because of it. Come on, man. You're a YouTuber or you've been on the internet. You should know that 99% of the shit that you see isn't real. Didn't you learn a long time ago not to trust everything you see and read on the internet? Also, I don't think a lot of people realize they simply don't use the term a lot, but in the Pony Phantom, a lot of you guys do have the same kind of weeaboo waifu mental- I can't- I speak for a living. But a lot of you guys have the same kind of waifu mentality. You guys are buying toys, figurines, plushies, body pillows. You guys are dropping hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this shit. Hundreds of dollars at merch, going to cons. And you guys set your profile pics to My Little Pony clips and shit like that. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay, I do think it's kind of fringy, but that's just because I'm an asshole. That's kind of my whole shtick. The whole point is, those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. And those who live in glass houses probably should have invested in a more sturdy house because, I mean, strong winds, just, you know, what if there's an earthquake? R really, what I'm saying is you got screwed. Whoever sold you that really did play you, especially in today's modern housing market. But I digress. Everyone has some sort of form to escape, whether it be drugs, alcohol, sex, and rock and roll. If yours is to, I don't know, get a body pillow, facetiously date your waifu, engross yourself in some sort of fantasy world, the fuck's wrong with anyone that says that that's bad? Look, they're not hurting anyone. You're weird, and you should probably take a shower. But you're far from being the scum of the internet, or the scum of reality. And if you wanna go fuck your donkey, Anon, go right ahead. 
just please stop shit posting on slash mop. Woo!